So as we come back to play, three tight ends in the ball game again for Oklahoma. Time of possession, A&M 404, OU 10:56 in that opening quarter. And play action by Bradford looks right over the middle, and there is Jermaine Gresham again. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Well, after a little bit of a sluggish start, Oklahoma is kind of like a surgeon right now on this uh, Texas A&M defense. And Bradford has all of a sudden he's got a string of complete passes rather than being uh, off the mark. Hartley with the extra point attempt. He's got it. And with 14.55 showing on the clock until halftime, our new score is the Oklahoma Sooners 14 and Texas A&M nothing. Well, this, this is Kevin Wilson's new toy as these three tight ends. You've got Brody Eldridge, you've got Joe John Finley, and you have Gresham. Watch Finley run off, and Gresham's going to come right behind him. This is easy. Again, you don't know that's a power formation. You may expect a run to that side. You may expect something else, but just sits up right behind it. And Joe John Finley is just kind of a decoy. This is a great read by the quarterback, but again, if you're the defense, you see those big bodies out there, and you just don't know what to expect. And that's Mark Dodge coming over, trying to get coverage, and against a guy like Gresham, who's a 4 5 5 40, bit of a mismatch. You know, Ed, I think we also should mention, and a credit to, uh, to Gresham, we were watching video of his Iowa State game, and he was catching the ball into his body when he caught it, and we saw him get intercepted because one bounced off his chest rather than catch it with his hands. Tonight both of the touchdowns that he has gathered in have been out front with his hands. Well and the tight ends are coached by Kevin Wilson the offensive coordinator. And I promise you during the bye week they spend the time you know the jugs machine the wheels spin they fired at you about 70 miles an hour. I promise you that Mr. Gresham was doing some work with the jugs <laughs> having some fastballs thrown at his chest and Kevin Wilson saying you need to catch the ball away from your body and that came directly from that interception that hit him in the chest. Yeah I don't I don't think there's any question about that. Here comes the kickoff by Hartley. Franks and Brown the two deep men and it's returnable from the two. This is Pierre Brown. Pierre big opening and finally going to be stopped out across the 40 yard line that is 40 yards on the return the Aggies with good field position Jack let's check with you again. Well you might think that if you're on the defense for the Aggies you might see the adversity that you're facing and wonder what has just hit us. But when you're led by 26 year old Mark Dodge well he's seen adversity before he served in the third United States infantry and was part of the presidential honor guard. But he also was in the Pentagon back in 9 11 and he spent the next three weeks helping in the recovery in the 9 11 situation at the Pentagon and last week well Ron you've got the rest of that story. Well last week about as nice an honor as, as you could receive he received the Pat Tillman Award and uh, McGee under pressure here I'll complete the story as he's going to be tackled at the 45. And just talking with the people from Texas A&M, I see Dodge is about as exemplary as any young man that he have ever been around. And I do know for a fact that an extremely large and influential company has already come for his services, and he knows exactly what's going to happen as far as his future when football is done this year. And I love it. it came out, you know, they were talking about this season, and of course you're a senior, everyone expects, you know, you have NFL aspirations. And Mark Dodge said very early said I, you know I came back to college to play football is my dream. I'm ready to move on with my life and he's got that job lined up couldn't be a better guy. Jaworski Lane puts a head down and that is his first carry and we're at the 14 2 mark of the second quarter. But the big fella is letting him know on the sideline hey I want it more because that's going to move the sticks. Well and uh, the offensive staff for Texas A&M Les Caney the offensive coordinator of course Dennis Franchoni calls a lot of the plays most of them yeah, and they, they caught a lot of heat uh, when they went down to Miami and big Javorski Lane had two carries now that game got out of hand and they had to go to a more spread throwing but you've got to start establishing something with Mike Goodson it looks like not going to play at least here in the first half Lane might be the guy you have to lean on keeper by McGee two yards maybe three Austin English with another tackle for the Oklahoma Sooners. And English gets up limping a little bit. 
You know what? In fact, now he's going to sit down on the field. Wow. Holding that right ankle. And the defensive person, uh, coaches, boy, can be anything but uh, excited about that. Well, and remember that John Williams, the senior defensive end that they were relying on so heavily yes. early in the year, out with an Achilles for the season. And English had stepped up his game so much they really didn't miss John Williams. Of course, Alonzo Dotson has stepped up his game. They've had to bring Jeremy Beal, a former linebacker, along to give some depth. But this guy never leaves the field. Oh, and what, so, a, what an engine. We'll no. talk more about uh, Austin when we return after this message. 14 to nothing Sooners. Taylor 